Okay, that's my bio. Hopefully everyone's familiar with that. And today our discussion is ho ho Hooray for Louiswood. We're going to be talking about motion picture history of Louisville. And uh, there's a skyline, which I think is still current. I don't see any new buildings up there lately. And um, we always start with the uh, da 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 sort of a theme with all the uh, information there of the various uh, movie studios. So here are some early uh, movies that were made in Louisville. One called My In Old Kentucky. It was a silent movie in 1919. Um, Kentucky, 1931. 1938, Sporting Blood with Clark Gable, even though he did not come here. And some of the movie was shot here. Uh, 1940, Sporting Blood. Uh, and then uh, 41, Bugle Sounds. So some early movies that were made in Louisville, or had Louisville uh, scenes within them. Uh, perhaps one of the more famous uh, directors in Hollywood in the early years was one by the name of uh, D.W. Griffith, David Wark, W-A-R-K Griffith. And he was born in Odom County here, Crestwood, uh, Kentucky. And so there it is, talking about rural Kentucky, actually Odom County. She was buried in Peely Valley. What's that? Yeah, he's buried in Peabody, and we'll see his gravesite here in just a second. But anyway, just talking about all the things that he did. He was very famous for creating all sorts of techniques for motion pictures. Uh, his most famous film is called The Birth of a Nation, which has now been, if you want to use the word canceled, it's been canceled due to some of the uh, insensitive cultural themes that are within that movie. And there's his grave site uh, there, uh, I believe, yeah, in Crestwood, Kentucky. But yeah, he's not uh, highly regarded anymore in Hollywood due to his past insensitive, let's say, uh, themes of some of his movies. Perhaps our best known actor was Victor Mature. Everyone hopefully is familiar with Victor Mature. He was raised um, in a house uh, on Camp Street, Camp and Jackson Street in the Shelby Park neighborhood. So Victor Mature. Notice he even uh, uh, interviewed to go into uh, Gone with the Wind, but he did not make that. Boy, it would have been great to see Victor Mature in Gone with the Wind. And some of the other movies that he was in, uh, Samson and Delilah, perhaps, is one of his more famous movies. Uh, the Egyptian, uh, he was in a number of other uh, themes. He was also in a number of TV series, also. There he was. He was known as the hunk of Hollywood. <laughs> There's Victor Mature. One of his... Uh, uh, movie that? posters there. His uh, cousins, the mature sisters, or he had two cousins that lived that were neighbors to my uh, parents who lived in Ogden Park back a number of years ago. So I knew a lot about the mature family uh, due to that relationship between my parents and his cousins. This is his grave site uh, in uh, uh, St. Michael's Cemetery off Goss Avenue. Uh, near Poplar Level Road, and it just talks about that. One thing about Victor Mature was that he liked golf more than he liked appearing in movies, and so he turned down a lot of the roles to play golf. So it, it uh, impacted his golf game, he said. Is that an angel crying? Yes, that is an angel that's hump. Yes. You know, yes. I hadn't seen that. There's uh, when uh, down at the Palace Theater when uh, his uh, One Million B.C. debuted. Look at that. Had a premiere down there. Yeah, look at that back in the day. Wow. Huh. And so uh, there's a huge banner of him uh, down in the Shelby Park neighborhood uh, on Shelby Street. And then that actually is his sister. I got to meet her back 
think it was 2014, 2015, uh, the Louisville Historical League that I'm with, uh, we had a tour of St. Michael's Cemetery, and somehow she heard about the, the tour, and so she came and gave a nice talk about her father. So as you can see, she's fairly young. Her, he had married a younger woman and had, Victoria was her name, I believe, was her name. And uh, so she gave a really nice uh, presentation about big, her father. Irene Dunn uh, also was born here in Louisville, 1898, it says. Uh, she's usually known as the, the most famous actress that never won an Academy Award. Some images of her. Even though um, she, was, she was 12 years old when her mother moved to Madison, Indiana. She really didn't call uh, Louisville home after they moved. Uh, it was more Madison, Indiana, where her um, family lived after her father was uh, killed or died. Some history about her there. More things about there. Yeah, she is with a nice. Cary Grant. <laughs> you imagine starring with Cary Grant. She came a long way from Louisville, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Do do all that. A lot of she appeared in so many movies. She was nominated for the Academy Award five times. <clears throat> Some more things about her. Just a few more things. She did appear, uh, she did come back to Louisville once uh, selling the war bonds during World War II. Um, don't have, um, we have a historical marker down in downtown Louisville for Irene Dunn. It's down at the wharf. Uh, it wasn't the Theater Square District, but we had it relocated when they were doing some construction and put it down on the wharf. I thought I had a photograph of it, but do not. Patricia Neal, she was born in Packard, Kentucky, and it says it's southeast Kentucky near Williamsburg off I-75, so way down in southeast, down near Corbin, London, Kentucky, is where she was born. 1926, when did she pass away? <coughs> 2010. Can you slow down? So we can sure, sure, y'all can read some more of that. If you need me to go back, I can do that. Just mm -hmm. let me know. But I put up a lot of this so that y'all can kind of scan over it. <laughs> what I want for Christmas is to study uh, dramatics. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I'll go ahead and move forward. Some more text of her. So you can see she had a very uh, long career in Hollywood and films. Uh, appeared with Gary Cooper in The Fountainhead, which was a, um, a major motion picture of the day. And it's still on TV every so often. Some more information on her. She had a long career. How long did she live in Kentucky? Not very long. <clears throat> yeah, in fact, uh, earlier it was noting that she, they moved to Knoxville and she went to school there. <laughs> yeah, that would have been interesting if she had been appeared in that. <clears throat> there she is later in life. Okay. Rain Tree County, this was a major movie uh, mm -hmm. in the 1950s, I want to say, and uh, it was filmed primarily here in Kentucky. The, all of these uh, actors and actresses uh, did come to 
Kentucky to film the movie. It was filmed primarily uh, in the Danville area, from what I understand, central Kentucky. It talks about it. Did anyone ever see Rain Tree County? Oh, yes. Okay, y'all yeah. did see it. I never saw it, 1957. That was a bit before my time, I hate to say it. Uh, there's some more of the cast. Look, that was a, uh, a who's who of the industry back in the day. And I think DeForest Kelly, correct me if I'm wrong, wasn't he in Star Trek? So he yes. a doctor in Star Trek, yes. if I have that correct? Yes. But um, Agnes Moorhead, she was fairly famous, right? All of these uh, individuals, Elizabeth Teller, of course, perhaps the most famous of them all. And it premiered here in Louisville, down at the Brown Theater, which still is there, it still looks like that. The Brown Theater was built, I think, in 1925, I want to say, so it's, it's almost 100 years old now, Brown Gosh. Theater. Ah, famous movie. Now, I did see this one. I'm sure hopefully everyone else saw Goldfinger, the James Bond movie uh, that had scenes uh, filmed here in Louisville and uh, Kentucky. It's centered primarily around Goldfinger trying to steal all the gold from Fort Knox. And... Um, they actually, if you recall, there's a scene in the movie where they uh, take a car, and I think there was somebody in the car, and they crush the car. I'm not sure if y'all remember that scene, mm -hmm. but that was actually filmed downtown Louisville uh, in this compactor that they had down on River Road, the Clintoner Brothers scrapyard. That's where they filmed the scene of them crushing this car. Then uh, there was this uh, teenager or young woman uh, who was Miss Jefferson County. She was one of the pilots of the air, small air force that uh, Goldfinger had. And they filmed part of that out at Bowman Field. There it is. It's still one of the classic James Bond movies. Uh, Ned Beatty. Yeah, he... Uh, he had a very long, distinguished career. Uh, as noted, he was the busiest actor in Hollywood and appeared in numerous, numerous uh, movies. Born in St. Matthews. By the way, one thing I want you all to notice is the height of all the actors. They're all about six feet and under. Usually about five, six, five, seven, five, eight. Why is that? Because most all the actresses were five, six, five, seven, five, eight so that they all lined up on the screen. But yeah, if you notice all the height of the, of the actors, they were all, I'm 6'3", so they were all a little bit deep below me. Such. Of course, his most famous movie was Deliverance, that uh, Ned Beatty was in. I think it was just on TV just the other night as I was scanning through the channels. It's a scary movie. Oh, whoa, it's a scary movie. Ned Beatty. appeared in a number of Burt Reynolds, Reynolds movies as well. Yeah, he just was in all sorts. I remember him uh, in the Superman movie. Superman movies. He was a sidekick to uh, Gene Hackman in that, those movies. But yeah, he was very active in a number of things. There's more on Deliverance. That's what it says, yeah. Yeah, he was, a, he was a good character actor. He was always sort of in the background. I don't think he ever had a lead role, but he was more of a supporting actor. Uh, this movie, I think, hopefully everyone, y'all have uh, seen it. This is one of my favorite movies, Stripes, with uh, Bill Murray. It was pretty much filmed here in Louisville as well. A number of iconic Louisville scenes are in this movie. They filmed it out at uh, Fort Knox. You can see the, the army scene there. 
there's one scene, and I'm not certain if, um, let me see if I've got it. No, let me go back. Uh, there's one scene in the movie early on where he um, is going, in, going to Kentucky, and he's going across the Second Street Bridge driving, but he's actually going to Indiana. But in the movie, he says he's going to Louisville. But he's driving the opposite direction across the bridge. And then there's another scene of him uh, when he's being inducted into the Army. Uh, it's filmed in a West Main Street building. And out of the window on the back side, you see that Kingfish steamboat that is out on the window beyond, beyond uh, where he's being filmed at. So a number of, if you pick, and it also, uh, uh, the Silbach Hotel is featured in this movie as well. So a lot of iconic Louisville scenes are uh, in stripes. Warren Oates, he was uh, also a very uh, famous actor. He was in stripes and a variety of other movies. So he was born in Muhlenberg County, which is in western Kentucky. There he is, talking about all the things that he was involved in. Went to the University of Louisville. Yeah. But he died fairly young, unfortunately. I think he had a heart attack in the early 1980s. Sam Pack and Paul used him in his movies. But he had a very distinguished career. Some other movies that were uh, had the Louisville scenes within them. I remember when they were moving this, uh, making this movie Elizabeth Town. That's now, gosh, I can't believe it's been 18 years. But a number of the uh, um, actors uh, were seen here in Louisville eating at restaurants. They were always talking about that. Uh, yeah, they, that was filmed in and around Louisville and Elizabeth Town. This perhaps may be one of the more famous movies made in Louisville. It's called The Insider. Uh, I was talking about, I'm, I'm not sure, if, I, for what it's worth, I have never seen the movie, but I've heard so much about it. It's about um, this person in the, a tobacco company who's a whistleblower and talks about the harms that uh, cigarette smoking does to you. And anyways, it uh, was more of a... Uh, uh, documentary, if you will, this one guy that blew the whistle in the tobacco companies, which led to the downfall of all the cigarette companies. There's the cast. They had a very distinguished cast to it. Christopher Plummer was here. Mm -hmm. Russell Crowe, Al Pacino. And I actually saw a scene of this movie being filmed. Uh, I was driving along Eastern Parkway one evening. I think it was like a Sunday evening or whatever. If you know anything about Eastern Parkway between uh, um, Poplar Level and uh, Bardstown Road, there's various hills and ups and downs of Eastern mm -hmm. Parkway. So I come over this one rise, one, one hill of Eastern Parkway, all of a sudden the whole street is just lit up with lights. Like bright as daylight. And this was like at 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. It was definitely dark, except for this one section of Eastern Parkway. They were filming the scene for this movie outside the house there. And they had huge floodlights. I'm not sure what the neighbors thought of all that, but it got my attention. It was literally lit up like daylight in that area. There's like Christopher Plummer and uh, uh, Russell Crowe. Here's a scene, and you can see the Kennedy Bridge out the back there. This, uh, I hear this movie referenced a lot for various things. I don't know if it ever won an Academy Award or not. It may have, but uh, pretty, pretty famous movie. Uh, yeah, everyone remembers Rosemary Clooney. Uh, very famous actress. She grew up in northern Kentucky, in uh, Maysville, Kentucky. I didn't know her son was married to Debbie Poon. Huh. 
That's interesting. I was named for her. You were named for Oh, really? Wow, that's cool. Um, but yeah, her, um, her brother was a um, newscaster up in Cincinnati. When I was going to uh, yeah. the University of Cincinnati, he was on the news up there. I saw him a lot. And of course, her nephew was George. Sir? Yes? She sang with the Blue Orchestra a couple of times. Oh, did she? I and I met her. <laughs> did you get to meet her then? Yeah. Wow. And her, her, I think it was her brother. Okay. Her Nick Clooney, yeah, who was a, a top show host. Yes, it mentions yeah, he here. Was, he used to come and do, uh, like, do talks with the orchestra, and he would, like, would recite things and, you know. Gotcha. Yeah. Never here's, saw Nick, or never saw George, so. <laughs> here's one of her famous movies. Oh, they, yeah. I think there were two of them. It was White Christmas and then Holiday Inn, I think, yes. was the first one. Holiday Inn was first, and I think White Christmas was a sequel to that. And if you, uh, now she did not, she owned this house. Uh, she didn't live in this house, but she owned this house, and I think rented it out, but they, it was a connection to Rosemary Clooney in Augusta, Kentucky, and they, they've turned it into a sort of a memorial to her little museum. They have all some of her outfits there. I don't see how some of these actresses got in some of those outfits. Mm -hmm. It's crazy what they had to go through, but uh, it's interesting. There's George and her. There's George. He was born in Lexington. Nicknamed Gorgeous George. Um, <laughs> notice his height. He's less than six feet tall. There's some of his famous uh, things that he did. Gosh, they didn't realize he tried out for the Cincinnati Reds baseball team. Interesting. Hmm. And his cousin Miguel is the one who made him give him up. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see that. Yeah, Miguel. Oh, brother, we're all out there. I love that movie. I'm not oh, sure if y'all seen it or not. Fantastic. The singing. A funny, funny movie. Oh, me and my wife uh, say phrases from that movie every so often. <laughs> it's just a when it first came out, it was a very odd movie. We, I remember when I first saw that movie, I didn't get it. It's like, well, this is a horrible movie. What in the world's going on? And then after a few more watchings of it, it's like, oh my gosh, this is such a funny movie. Ah, Tom Cruise, of course. Note the height again, 5'7". Not that tall. In fact, I think uh, Nicole Kidman who, who was previously married to him, I think she's like 5'11 or 6 feet, so she kind of tired. And I don't think he's 5'7, I think they're padding him. <laughs> you think he's smaller than that? He's more like 5'4, 5'5. But um, his actual name, as you can see, uh, his last name is Maypother. There's still a lot of Maypothers here. Mm -hmm. So here's when he attended, uh, he was known as Thomas Maypother. Uh, at St. X High School in 1978 when he was there. Mm. St. X. Did he graduate there? Uh, no, he was only there for one year. When he was growing up, I think they lived in 12 to 16 different locations. They were moving every year for whatever reason. I, I don't know what the, his parents were doing, but he was only at St. X, I believe, just one year, and they, he was constantly moving with his parents. He was talking about some of his history there. Nomadic parents. You see, it says it's the only son of four children that had nomadic parents. You have 15 different schools he went to. Can you imagine? I did too. My dad was Navy, though. Oh, yeah, military. I can see that, yes. Some more things. So in high school, you got the acting bug there. and. Uh, so I'm moving in. He is just, I, he has been a hit maker. I mean, almost every one of his movies has been a hit. Of course, Mission Impossible, which I've never seen any of Mission Impossibles. Have y'all? I don't oh, yes. I don't get into the action genre that much. Um, but, uh, 
There's Nicole Kidman, who he was married to. Top Gun, yeah. Saw the most recent Top Gun movie. It was okay. A lot of people thought it was really great, but I thought it was kind of formatic as to how they, how they did all that. It wasn't that. It was Hollywood. <laughs> Tom Cruise. Johnny Depp from Owensboro, Kentucky. I'm not sure about his nickname there, <laughs> but known his height. Again, under six feet. They say he didn't bathe very often. Oh, is that the deal? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Now, he didn't live uh, very long in Owensboro. They didn't uh, stay there, as it says. And he was raised primarily in Florida. But he was definitely born. In fact, I've been to Owensboro, and I've talked to people in Owensboro who knew Depp, the Depp family. And there's still Depths that live in the woods. Mm -hmm. So uh, just again, a lot of a lot of movies that uh, he's been a hit maker as well. A lot of things that he appeared in. I love Sleepy Hollow, and you would think they would run that more during October because it's more of a Halloween type movie, but you hardly ever see it on TV anymore. Mm -hmm. I love Sleepy Hollow. That was a scary movie, but a very I love it. I think they did a very good job with that. Of course, Pirates of the Caribbean. My favorite character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were in uh, Disney uh, World earlier this year, and at the end of the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean ride, as they go through, they literally have a character dr dressed up like Johnny Depp's. I forget what he's saying, Dead Men, Tell No Tales, or whatever. But, uh, anyways, yeah, he, uh, very famous actress, actor, I mean. He just went through a big uh, divorce with him a year or two ago. The Bruckheimers. Now, a lot of people aren't aware of this, but Jerry and Linda Bruckheimer uh, basically owned Bloomfield, Kentucky, which is out, in fact, it's just at Bardstown Road here, not very far from where we're at here. Within 15, 20 minutes, we can get to Bloomfield. Not very far out. Um, and they pretty much own all the buildings in Bloomfield and have renovated them and all that. And Jerry Burkheimer, someone saw him recently down at the Silbach Hotel and they said he's not very tall either. And he was driving a Rolls Royce in downtown Louisville. But um, anyway, and he is, oh, look at all the movies that he has done there. It's just phenomenal. And Linda is always. Uh, doing things here in and around Kentucky and Louisville. You hear her name a lot. Hunter Thompson. <laughs> kind of a strange bird. Yeah. Uh, you name it. Oh my gosh. He was uh, definitely different, let's say. Gonzo journalism. What did they say? When he died, I think they cremated him. They fired his ashes out of a cannon. Did y'all hear about that? Yeah. <laughs> Bizarre. <laughs> He's a crazy guy. Where where? Out of a cannon. They put his ashes in a cannon and shot him <laughs> out. <laughs> That's what I heard. I wasn't there, so I can vouch for that. Some movie theaters, of course, the Palace downtown, still with us. It was originally the uh, United Artist Lowe's Theater. I think it's built, you know, 28, 1928. Still there. Thank goodness they didn't demolish this. It's just a spectacular. I think everyone's been to the palace or yes. seen a movie there. Some of the interior photographs. Sorry, they're not the best of photos. It's kind of a dark interior. We go, me and my wife go to the events there periodically. Very colorful, very Baroque style of architecture. There's a band, I had no idea what band that was that we were at, but uh, we still have concerts there. The Rialto, one of our more famous movies, uh, movie theaters in Louisville. It's just hard to believe that they would demolish this for a parking lot. Wow. You know, that marble staircase. Oh, it was just a palace. 
I remember my grandmother took me down to see the sound of music there, just awestruck by this. I still can't believe they tore it down. That's what's there today. It's a parking garage. But, but it was a surface parking lot for about 10 to 15 years before they built the garage. It's horrible. Oh. There they are demolishing it. I think there's uh, 68, 69 when they tore it down. The Ohio Theater, the only thing that's left is the uh, uh, marquee here. Uh, the Kentucky Theater. Showcase Cinemas. They tore it down as well. And I think there's a uh, Costco and a uh, uh, Chick-fil-A there at this location now. That's where I went to see all my movies back in the mm -hmm. 70s. That was the day where you would have to get in line and would just have one showing, like Jaws or whatever. Uh, Jaws was one. I'm trying to think of the other that I went uh, to see. But a lot of the famous movies would just literally just have one showing. You'd have to stand in line for hours to go see them. Nowadays, they're on multi, multiple screens. The Bulk Theater, of course, and it's been repurposed into a uh, retail store. Uh, our, perhaps our most famous actress to date, Jennifer Lawrence. So she would be what? She's now, uh, how old would she be? I'm trying to do the right. 33, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, 33. I think she's had a child now, if I have that correct. She's 5'7". And her parents, I think, live over in Indian Hills off of Brownsboro Road. They're still there. She quit school when she was 15. Yeah, Kept and then went to, yeah, yeah. went to New York, got the acting bug, and has done fairly well since then. I talked about her going to New York City. H&M ad, what is an H&M? It's a, uh, a department store, H &M. I forget what H&M stands for, but it was a uh, department store similar to uh, Macy's or uh, Bacon's or the Stewart's, it's a department store ad. There she is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know more about that. I haven't seen too many Jennifer Lawrence movies. She's a fantastic actress. Mm -hmm. And natural, no lessons. Uh, one of my more favorite movies, Secretariat. It was filmed here. It's just a great movie. Mm -hmm. Churchill Downs is a backdrop. I take it hopefully everyone has seen it. If you've not seen it, highly recommend it. Excellent movie. Although it does some Hollywood uh, changing of the script a bit. If you know anything about um, Penny Cheney and all that, it makes it sound like they had to win this race or else they're going to lose the farm, and that wasn't actually the case. But uh, what a great course, great story. They uh, filmed some scenes down at the Penn Dennis Club down on uh, Muhammad Ali Boulevard there, uh, second in Muhammad Ali. Uh, a number of scenes throughout Louisville. Like, uh, um, Steve, so. is the Penn Dennis still there? Yes, it is. It's still active. It's still active? Still there. Uh, they filmed some scenes at Wagner's Pharmacy. In fact, me and my wife were there a couple of derbies ago, uh, derby week. We were seated at this table and a number of people came up to us at our table saying, oh, you're seated at the table where they filmed the scene in a Secretariat movie. I had no idea it was the table or the setting, but, <laughs> and, but yeah, me and my wife got a big kick out of that. Uh, sea Biscuit, I did not see this movie, but I understand it had some uh, little scenes within it. 
Here are some other, um, Churchill Downs is fe featured in a lot of movies in Hollywood. Here are just a couple of them. Uh, Saratoga, 1937, had Clark Gable, uh, Gene Harlow, and Lionel Barrymore talking about Churchill Downs, filming, filming at that eight men out. Simpatico, and 50 to 1. 50 to 1 was based on the, uh, um, in 2009, the, uh, that horse Mind That Bird that won, it was a long shot. Uh, to uh, win the Derby that year, won it, and that's why it's called 50 to 1. A little background on that. So, we, me and my wife, we were up in Cincinnati for that Derby. We were up there for a wedding. We couldn't stay in Louisville. There's a relative's daughter or son was getting married up in Cincinnati on that Derby day. We literally were up there, and uh, my daughter placed a bet on mine that bird. And she just picked it because of the name. She liked the name Mind That Bird. And as the bride was walking up the aisle, I had my cell phone and I turned it to my daughter to say, Mind That Bird Just Won the Derby. <laughs> but anyways, they made a movie out of it, which I had not seen. Here's an interest, I, don't, I never saw this one either. Uh, Sheba Baby. Uh, but they had all sorts of scenes in Louisville. Look, they, the airport, the water tower, uh, State Fair, goodness gracious, they were all over the town making this movie. Some more uh, just random uh, movies here. We won't go through all these, but just yeah. a number of other. Yeah, Tammy, it says. Uh, Melissa McCarthy, who is a uh, comedian, I think, comedian actress, was in that movie. But uh, just a lot of these were just generic locations around Louisville that they filmed in. Uh, this uh, movie, Wham Bam, the uh, Flim Flam Man, that was filmed in, here in Kentucky. I don't know what uh, specific locations it was at. Uh, the Great Race had scenes here in Kentucky. Coal Miner's Daughter, of course. Dracula, the director of Dracula was from Louisville, Todd, Todd Brown. <laughs> Bella Lugosi. Who, who knew? Uh, this person here, uh, Henry Waterson Hall, appeared in uh, Werewolf, and he was connected to Henry Waterson, who, uh, of course, the freeway is named Waterson Expressway, mm -hmm. but Henry, Henry Waterson was a newspaper publisher here in Louisville. But anyways, another Louisville connection. A number of horror movies were made in, in Louisville. Um, Devil's Revenge, I don't, that was just a recent movie, it had William Shatner in it, but I have no idea when it was released. Death Tunnel featured uh, Waverly uh, Hills Sanatorium, mm. so a lot of horror films. <laughs> yeah. This uh, person here, uh, William Girdler, he was a producer, and I'm not sure if he was a direct, yeah, producer, director, made a number of movies. Um, but uh, he was uh, doing a movie over in the Philippines, it says, when he died in a helicopter crash. I think he's buried in the Cave Hill Cemetery. Gil Holland, he's pretty well known here locally. Uh, he's a developer, but he also funds uh, movies. And he did one on uh, tennis a few years ago. Here they are in Louisville filming that movie. But uh, he's constantly at the Sundance Film Festival, which is a, a famous film festival where they honor or show independent movies, and Gil's always at that. Stu Pollard, he's also a director and producer, and done a number of movies here locally. I had to throw in the Barnes Table Brown uh, folks. Uh, it's our own bit of uh, red carpet fame every uh, Derby Eve where they bring in all the celebrities. I'm not since, sure. Since yes. they become famous, it's Barnstable. Bar Barnstable? Barnstable. Oh, Barnstable. It used to be Barnstable. Mm -hmm. But they were uh, actresses. They appeared in some movies. Uh, I think they were known as the Double Mint Twins. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, it was a commercial. 
cheerleaders at UK. Yeah, that's correct. Now then, um, several Muhammad Ali movies. Um, the one I Am Ali had some locations here, but the, perhaps the most famous Ali movie with Will Smith in it, there is not a scene from Louisville in that movie from what I understand. Mm -hmm. It was all filmed in Los Angeles, Miami, Chicago, and Mozambique. But the no scene, I can't believe that they, they would do a movie on really? Ali without mm -hmm. having Louisville in it. It's kind of a strange thing. Reese Witherspoon, um, famous actress, of course, and she is like the great, great, great granddaughter of John Witherspoon. I'm sure you all all know who John Witherspoon is, right? Oh, sure. <laughs> he was a signer to the uh, Declaration of Independence. He actually signed on to that. <clears> he <throat> was in the Revolutionary um, uh, War and all that. And the street downtown called Witherspoon was, was he, he was a in the Presbyterian Church as well, a big minister in the Presbyterian Church. And of course we have Presbyterian headquarters downtown on Witherspoon Street. But anyways, Reese was a descendant of his. And as I mentioned at the very start, uh, we're building a huge movie studio in downtown Louisville. We're taking the old Louisville Gardens. Some of you may recall Louisville Gardens. It was also called the Armory. And uh, they're converting that into a huge movie studio where they're going to build uh, uh, scenes and green screens. Everything now is green screens, if you will. They, they just have the actors standing in front of a green screen and then they put the, uh, the scenes behind them. But uh, they're getting ready to turn that into a huge movie studio. As noted, a lot of movie studios are exiting out of uh, Hollywood now and going to different locations. And so they will rent space here. We'll create the movie studio for them. They'll come in to create to do the movie. They'll rent space here, and uh, and all that. So all the technology for the movie making will be housed in this. Can't wait to see that happen. That's gonna be pretty cool. And that's all, folks. <laughs> Was there any movies that uh, perhaps you, I did not mention that uh, y'all may recall were filmed in Louisville? I think I hear them all. I mean, there's a lot of movies. It's, it's amazing how many movies and actors and actresses uh, are connected to the city and to Kentucky. Uh, and I'm sure there are a lot more than what I just indicated. But uh, pretty famous. Has anyone else seen any movies made or uh, any act famous actresses? Or? No, but I was here about a week and they were going to have a movie and it didn't come in or something, so the woman said, I have a movie I love here, it's Secretariat, mm -hmm. and she showed it, and I had never seen it before. It's one of my favorite movies, <laughs> and they have it right here. Ah, great. And so I'm sure they can put it on at any time anybody yeah, they wants have a DVD it. As soon as they get a projector right oh, there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, let's tell Amy. So there's others in the area. There's Amy, I'd love to see it. Do you know how many times we have shown Secretary? No. A gazillion. <laughs> a gazillion. A gazillion. You ask me, see any time you want to put a movie on, we don't have movie night. Okay. 